In this video, we are going to show you how to light a Bunsen burner. So here we have a hose connected to our Bunsen burner. That's where the fuel is going to travel from the gas jet. The gas jet has a nozzle and it has a handle and the handle is perpendicular to the nozzle. It will be closed. If it's a parallel, then it's open. So um, we're going to talk about the various parts of the Bunsen burner. You got the hose where the gas comes in. You also have the needle valve, which also controls the amount of gas going into the Bunsen burner. Um, in the barrel is where the bunts, uh, the air and the gas will uh, mix. And in order to get the air in, you have to turn the barrel to open the air vent. Here, I'm going to close the air vent right now. And I'm going to close the needle valve. And before I actually hook up the hose to the gas jet, I want to practice with the striker. The striker is how we're going to light the Bunsen burner flame. And you need to be able to make a spark. You need to apply pressure of, with your thumb on the flint across the metal textured surface. And if you could produce a spark, that'd be great. It's best to practice this before you try to light the Bunsen burner flame. So. Once you light the Bunsen burner flame, um, in order to do this, we need to stick the hose onto the nozzle and turn on the gas. Open up the needle valve until you hear the gas flowing. It should make a sound. Once you hear the sound, go ahead and uh, light the flame. Right now we have a luminous flame and we haven't added air. So I need to add air to get a non-luminous flame. So I'm going to open up the air vent by uh, twisting the barrel. And we twist the barrel to open up and get enough air to get a luminous flame. You want to get where you get three cones. So in the barrel is where the fuel and the air is mixing. When you get the right amount of air and fuel, you should get a non-luminous flame. Now I'm going to try to get this in focus so that you can see the flame. Right now it's a, a, a pretty cool flame. Um, you don't see a distinct cone yet. So we need to go ahead and add some more air. And when we add more air, you're going to see a nice distinct flame. You should see three cones, the inner uh, black cone, a meat uh, a middle blue cone and an outer purple cone. So I have this uh, mesh that I'm trying to put behind to see if you can see that purple cone a little bit better. Um, it's a little hard to see see that in, in this light. But there are three distinct cones uh, in our flame. And we have a nice hot flame. Okay. And again, we can um, open up the, uh, one of the things that we're going to be doing is sticking a wire mesh actually into the flame. It will heat up the wire mesh so you can see where it's hot and it's cold. I'm going to let you just see that in the experiment itself. So I'm not going to spoil the surprise here. So when you're ready to, um, when you're done with the flame and you're ready to turn it off, you would close the um, needle valve. Close the gas jet, and then you would close the air vent. And once the air vent is closed, let's disconnect the hose from the gas jet. And then we are done with the Bunsen burner, and we can put it away. If you have any questions, please ask your instructor. Thank you.